What is up everyone, Josiah here from Josiah This Tech and here's another YouTube video just for you guys. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel and today we will be giving 5 tips for beginner programmers. Disclaimer lang po, ako po ay isang BSIT student and these tips may not or may apply to you. So these are just based on my experiences sa mga napagdaanan ko in programming, sa pag-create ng mga projects, etc. So wag na natin patagalin pa. Let's go to number one. First tip that I'm going to give you is learn by doing. Marami nagsasabi dyan na, hey, just copy paste. I mean... Yes, it's available in the internet and the resources or the documentations are already there. Just like here in W3 schools, this is my go-to whenever I ask for tutorials like for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, SQL, Python, PHP. Super daming tutorials sa internet. I even go to tutorials point for asking or for looking at different documentations for programming. And that's okay guys. But what I always suggest is just learn by doing. Now, how do you learn by doing? Well, you try to create projects on your own. There are simple projects available internet. Let, let's search for some. Here are some of the recommended things that you might want to check out. Like build a multi-page responsive website. Or create a game, random number generator. Actually, lahat yan ang mga nagawa na namin noong uh, first year and second year namin. And ito ang ginagawa namin ngayon. Currently, I am creating a game. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo. And this is the current game that I'm developing in our mobile application development. Uh, third year na po ako, by the way. So, this is just like Wordle or Hangman. It's called Hangdroid. And I won't... Uh, hindi ko nasasabihin sa inyo yung... Hindi ko nasasabihin sa inyo yung further details about the game. So, it's just like Hangman and Wordle combined and you already know how to play those if you don't know those types of games you can search it on the internet again why do i suggest by learning by doing well everything that you've learned in your school or sa mga napag-aralan nyo sa class nyo mas mabuting ina-apply nyo na siya sa programming nyo kasi uh yes meron tayong stock knowledge about doon pero what i can suggest you have to apply those things na napag-aaralan nyo sa school nyo so how can you apply those? Well, you create projects, you create simple websites, create a biography about yourself. Example, you can create a biography about yourself in a static website, then try to add functionality by using JavaScript, create wonderful designs using CSS and Bootstrap. Uh, all Again, all of the resources are available in their internet. Learn its functionality and, alam nyo na, apply nyo dun sa project nyo. So, wag lang puro kopya, guys. Uh, learn and understand what you are currently doing and how does that line of code apply to your project. Let's head into number two. Second tip na pwede ko yung bigay sa inyo is don't get worried too much and don't get overwhelmed. Alam kong pag nakikita niyo yung mga ganito na nasa screen niyo, Minsan nakikita nyo, ah, I wanna give up on programming because hindi ko naman na-understand yung mga line of codes na nandito. Kalma lang guys, it's very normal and you just have to plan it out. Ang parating kong sinasabi sa mga viewers ko whenever I do live on TikTok is plan it out and yun yung pinak first step when it comes to creating a program or developing a website. So you have to create a flowchart. So what is a flowchart? This is the flow of your program um, let me show to you an example so this is an example of a flowchart i actually had a topic on creating a flowchart or at least tackled flowcharting in one of my videos i'll just put it in the description below or just check it out on my playlist so one tip that i have to give to you is para hindi kayo ma overwhelm you have to plan it out Pangalawa, if masyado na kayong na-frustrate dun sa code nyo, kalma nyo na sarili nyo, take a break. Take 15 minutes of your time after, syempre, uh, sa, sa tagal nyong nakatutok sa screen, ang suggestion ko is after at least one hour, uh, take a break, 15 minutes, uh, tumingin ka sa labas, 
Um, enjoy nature. Enjoy spending time with your family. Don't... Ito ah. Ito parati ko sinasabi. Kapag nagbe-break kayo, please, don't go to your social media. Or pag magsa-social media kayo, at least 5 minutes lang. Tapos, alam mo na, don't kill your time. Kasi pag nasa social media kayo or nag-YouTube lang kayo, promise, ma-frustrate kayo kayo at madidistract lang kayo. So, what I can suggest is just go outside, take a break, uh, drink water, uh, have a snack, tapos after that, uh, have a refresher. Okay, I'm going to plan it again kung ano yung flow ng aking diagram. Um, huwag kayong ma-overwhelm sa dami ng codes nyo or hindi nyo na alam mo yung mga dapat next plans nyo. Uh, again, resources are available in the internet and don't uh, be afraid in asking some of the developers in groups just like in Facebook. There are lots of forums available in the internet. Just like in Facebook, uh, for example, Philippine IT Security Forums. Kapag kailangan ko ng questions about security stuff, um, merong mga jokes dito, merong mga information na mapupulot ka. Like, um, example nito, um, this one is about ransomware. And, ayun, marami kang information na mapupulot. When it comes to programming, meron ka namang mapupuntahan at meron rin mga BSIT na tumutulong dito. Uh, let's just search it. Alright, so, ito yung group page sa Facebook na pwede nyo rin puntahan. Uh, pwede kayo magtanong dito ng information about sa programming or kumuha ng references na nagbibigay sila. So, discardian nyo na lang guys. So, Meron ka rin main, makukuhang inspiration. Example, they give line of codes. You can post stuff here and share information. Just like this one. Oh. Uh, he just shared his project. And mali mo, meron kang inspiration. At makapag-create ka rin ng sarili mong version. So, yun. Not only that, guys. If you feel depressed, when it comes to becoming a BSIT, alam ko marami mga BSIT dito na ayoko na mag-BSIT, so sobrang hirap na mga pinagagawa ko. Stop. It's fine. Uh, actually, in this uh, specific group, it's a public group in Facebook, and guys, marami kang inspiration na makukuha dito about their job experience and their learning experience in the industry. Not only that, um, meron ka rin mga makikita na um, should I still continue in becoming a BSIT student? Should I shift? Etc. Etc. And a lot of the comments there are somewhat serious and somewhat a joke to the community. So, sabi niya na, ha ha ha, shift ka na lang. Pero, uh, disregard niya lang yun. And if you really want to pursue BSIT, I suggest that you look through the positive side of the comments and uh, check niya yung ano, mga information dun na sasabihin na, uh, here's my experience in becoming a student and talagang ma-inspire ka dun sa mga sinasabi nila. Third tip na pwede ko ibigay sa inyo, don't guess. Huwag ka manghula dun sa code na ginagawa mo. After you plan out your whole project, don't guess the codes and please, kung may reference ka, gamitin mo. Kung meron kang resources, gamitin mo. Kung may kakilala ka, magtanong ka. Okay? Di naman sobrang hirap na mag-search or wag kang tamad na uh, wala eh. Kung tamad ka, hindi ka talaga makakausin sa buhay. So what I can suggest is don't stress yourself. Look for some things in the internet. Look for documentations. Learn the flow of the project na yung ginawa mo. Ginawa no mismo pinagkuhanan mo sa documentation. Let me give you one example. So here, I'm showing you once again my project. Uh, it's Hangdroid. And we have here a feature that is host and client. So ang feature nito is yung mismong host, siya ang magbibigay ng set of words, tapos yung different devices, uh, different Android devices, ang kailangan nila is magkoconnect connect sila dun sa host kasi si host yung magbibigay ng um, set of words, tapos paunahan sila. So this is connected to a networking uh, program. So, syempre ako, uh, studyante pa lang, and na-discuss na rin namin yung peer-to-peer -peer connection sa, sa networking. And I have to find a reference about peer-to-peer -peer connection. And as you can see, I've found a reference in Game Broadcast Receiver. Ito yung class na kriniit ko. And sa ko siya nakuha? This is where I got it. So, we have here GitHub. 
it, it's where uh, one of the best references when it comes to documentation and you can check it out on the internet and maraming compilation doon ng mga different programmers sharing their ex uh, sharing their projects and you can share your project as projects as well here in github so once again uh, this person uploaded his project here in github and as you can see uh, ayan yung functionality or these are the different uh, classes or java packages na, na, na nakalagay dito you have to understand the meaning of the line of the blocks of the code kung saan niya ginamit dito and of course syempre hindi mo maiiwasan yung mag-compare ng code to different references uh let me give you one example since i am learning android programming or i'm using java as my android programming language uh you can check out developers.android.com and check out different um documentations as well and learn the docu the documentation kung paano siya is set up paano siya, saan siya ilalagay dun sa mismo block of code mo so ayan just to share you my experience uh after kong basahin or i work out dun sa team na kasama ko eh yan na -de develop na namin and right now meron na kaming established connection using peer to peer when it comes to web development, important yung stack. Now, what is stack? Let's search it on the internet para mas lalo kayong ma-enlighten uh, dun sa mismong word na yun when it comes to programming. So, dictionary time. Okay, so, I'm going to give you an example when it comes to, hindi to sa Android naman, but this is related to programming. It's called a web stack and ginagamit siya sa web programming or web development. So this is the main definition of a web stack. A web stack is the collection of software required for web development. At a minimum, a web stack contains an operating system, a programming language, database, software, and a web server. LAMP is one of the commonly used web stack. Linux as the operating system, Apache as the web server, MySQL as the relational database management system, and PHP as the object-oriented scripting language. Again, when it comes to development, know your stack. And at the same time, know the tools that you are about to use. So, if you're going to use Bootstrap, if you're going to use PHP, uh, saan ka mag -de deploy uh, Again, the key here is to plan it out. Why don't you also ask for different developers kung ano ba yung mga appropriate uh, stacks na ginagamit dito when building a project like this, like that. Another key tool here is knowing your framework kung ano mga ginagamit niya dito. So, keep in mind, uh, you have to search what type of frameworks are um, or am I about to use when it comes to development. So, take note of that. Alright, sabi ko kanina na meron tayong 5 programming tips. Let's just do a recall. Learn by doing. Don't get worried or don't get overwhelmed by programming. Don't guess your programming. Know your stack. And the last one is always prioritize your health. There are lots of developers out there na nakatutok na lang sa isang monitor. They don't go outside. They don't spend time with their family, their friends. They don't enjoy the outside world. Especially ngayong pandemic. Even as mga students, alam kong nakaka-frustrate na nakatingin na lang tayo sa ating computer. Noon, malala. Kasi 2020 and the year 2021 talagang halos hindi ko makalabas. Ngayon, 2022, medyo maluwag na dito sa country natin. And of course, do practice social distancing and precautionary measures. But yeah, enjoy the outside world. Enjoy spending time with your friends. Um, eat. Siyempre, prioritize your health. Drink lots of water. Drink your uh, vitamins. Uh, Come on guys, sitting down on your ergonomic chair and spending time in front of a screen is frustrating. And if you always like stand in front or sit in front of your monitors, it's going to frustrate your eyes. It's going to uh, bababa yung immune system mo. And lalo na kapag hindi ka pa umiinom ng water nyo. So what I do... Based on experience, I always uh, go down 
every time na maubos ko tong water bottle na to, I go down and drink water and refill this one. Uh, eat, of course. Huwag niyong kakalimutang kumain kasi napakadelikado niyan. And your life is always uh, precious. Uh, merong magandang plano para sa'yo. Um, so yeah, those are the five tips that I can give to you as beginner programmers. So once again, this is Josiah the Stech. This is your host, Josiah Marcus Store. See you on the next Tech Tip. Have a great day, everyone.